The lawsuit is putting another dark cloud over Michigan State University tonight. This one claims three basketball players raped a student in 2015, and MSU staff allegedly discouraged her from reporting it. Brianne Palmerini is in East Lansing with the troubling accusations. Well, the incident is the talk of students here on campus today. It surrounds three basketball players and a current student. Now, the lawsuit doesn't name any of these students, but it does call out the university, the institution, MSU, for violating Title IX. The lawsuit alleges that three unnamed basketball players took turns raping an unnamed female student back in 2015. The players had just returned to campus after losing in the Final Four. The student alleges she was tricked into going to an off-campus apartment with a promise of a party, and she believes she was drugged. In the lawsuit, she reports she was held down and raped from behind by all three. The woman is still a student on campus. She's doing as well as could be expected for someone that has gone through something like this. She's strong, she's smart, and she's moving on with her life. Her attorney says Michigan State University failed to take action, and counselors encouraged her not to report the crime to police. The allegation reading, quote, Plaintiff was told by Michigan State University Counseling Center staff that they had seen a lot of cases with guys with big names and the best thing to do is just get yourself better, implying to the plaintiff that it would not be in the plaintiff's best interest to report the incident to law enforcement. She was essentially discouraged from pursuing, pursuing it and was not given the support and guidance that she was entitled. Students on campus that I spoke with say they're disappointed to hear about this, but they say that's how it works when it comes to student athletes. Honestly, I can't say I was that surprised because like, some similar things like that have happened before. Like, you know, I mean, with Larry Nassar and the administration covering up, you know, what he did and now this. We as students aren't being prioritized, but they do hope this lawsuit will prompt change. When situations like this are, you know, brought to light, uh, it definitely helps things out in the future and, you know, I really hope it does. I did reach out to the university for a comment tonight, and a spokesperson says the university will not be making a comment. As far as this lawsuit, it is demanding a jury trial. And as far as whether there will be criminal action against these three unnamed basketball players, that will be up to a prosecutor and the student involved to seek those charges. In East Lansing, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.